In this video, I will show you how we can create this sort of abstract artifact using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thruval here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output. Now for this tutorial, you will need this model image, uh, the sunset image number one and sunset image number two. Now we can use any sunset image as long as it has a really glowing sun. And also I'm going to use, where is it, uh, select brush tool. Uh, these are the brushes that I'm going to use at the end. You see this dark black big brushes, yeah. And if you want to use any of the images or brushes, the download link is in video description. So feel free to use it. So now let's start on the tutorial. So first of all, we need to cut him out from the background. So select your fourth number tool here, which is quick selection. It's a simple green background, so not a big deal. Uh, so after selecting your tool, uh, make it slightly bigger. Use your bracket keys for that and make a selection of him uh, just like that. Uh, yeah, that's uh, perfect. A little bit on the hair. Good. Now, after the selection is done, go and select on this refine age option. So, it will allow you to make their edges really softer. So, what you have to do is make your brush a little bigger, again using bracket keys. Uh, and let's uh, draw border around him just like that. So, that looks really nice. And one more time on the hair so that it looks even better. So that's good uh, and don't worry about this green color in hair, we will turn it black and white. Uh, so hit OK. Selection is ready and after that you have this third option here which is layer mask. So just simply click on that. Uh, so the background is away and now create another new blank layer from here second last icon uh, and put it below the model. Then select your paint bucket tool from here, right click and select paint bucket. Uh, and here you have to make sure your color is white and fill it. So now you have model on separate layer with a white background. After that, we need to make the model a little bit smaller. So make sure you have activated your model thumbnail, not the layer mask, but the model. They both are different things. So select model thumbnail, press Ctrl T, hold down your shift key and make him smaller, just like that. Not very small, just a little bit enough, okay? Yeah, so that looks uh, really good and go and confirm it from here after that when your thumbnail is selected uh, go to image adjustment and you can go and select this desaturate option so it will turn it simply black and white after that again go to image adjustment and go to levels now in the levels you have to increase your highlights uh, and sorry this is mid tones increase your mid tones uh, and crunch your shadows a little bit and also increase the highlights so all you have to do is make a really good contrast. You can study my graph if you want. Uh, so that looks really good. Let's turn it on and off. Yeah, this is perfect. A little bit of contrast here. Yeah, and go and hit OK. After that, as you can see, the edges are really sharp here. So to get rid of that and to make it artistic a little bit, turn on your layer mask. See, activate it by clicking on it. This is image, this is layer mask. So activate your layer mask. Uh, then go to your brush tool here like this and open a brush panel and in the brush panel uh, out of this all brushes uh, select any of this big dark black one so i think the first one looks really nice so select that uh, here and make it a little bit bigger yeah so that looks nice after that you see this little box here click on that and it will open up your brush option so first you have to go to shape dynamics uh, click on it activate it uh, and make sure your angle jitter is at 100 percent and after that you have to turn on your transfer, activate it here uh, and after the, uh, make sure your opacity jitter is also 100%. And then when your mask is selected, make sure your color is black and go and paint around on his t-shirt just like that. See, now it looks a little bit artistic and hard edge is gone. And do same for the side parts and keep doing until the hard edges are gone. You can also use white color uh, to bring something back if you want. So after that, uh, create another adjustment layer from here uh, and select threshold. In the threshold, make sure that you have decent amount of detail so we can recognize the person properly. So I think this looks uh, really good uh, and close it. Now here comes the important part. You have to right click and select create clipping mask. So it will make things really softer, smoother as you can see on the hair. If I control Z, see this is rough. After clipping mask, it is really soft. 
and you can again go back to mask and this time uh, do it even properly with black color so all the setup is ready and now it's time to bring in the images so what you have to first do is go and create a new blank layer from here then go to your sunrise image uh, or sunset whatever press ctrl a ctrl c to copy it come back here ctrl v on this blank layer then go and change its blending mode to screen so as you can see it has already started looking good now select your move tool from here and move it where you want like that and press ctrl t hold your shift key and make it smaller like that yeah that's perfect and confirm it now create another adjustment layer from here and select hue saturation and you have to go and change the color to whatever it pleases you so for this tutorial let's say we go with uh, blue color yeah right yeah that looks really good uh, and you can also move the image anytime you want so i think that looks good now let's go and close this one we don't need it and go back to here this sunset so press ctrl a ctrl c come back here ctrl v uh, and this time we have to put it on the top right so that it doesn't get affected by the hue saturation layer so on this one put it here like this and change its blending mode to where is it screen uh, and put it where it looks good now as you can see we have this hard edges you can simply use eraser tool or you can apply layer mask uh, select a brush tool and this time select a normal round brush uh, from the top uh, yeah that's good uh, and make it big like really big yeah that's good uh, and go and remove it like that and you can also apply a brush uh, mask on this layer as well uh, and remove the unnecessary parts that you don't like uh, vice versa you can practice however you want and if you want to make canvas bigger like I showed in the beginning uh, select your crop tool like that uh, stretch it a little bit from this side uh, and stretch it a little bit from this side confirm it and in your background layer go your uh, select your paint bucket tool and fill in white color again and this way you can make your this bigger canvas now create another blank layer on top of your white layer see this is the background layer so you have to create your blank layer exactly on top of it and under your model layer uh, select your brush tool uh, and as you can see we have this really big black brushes with splatters so I'm gonna select this one and make it bigger uh, like that and click here once uh, and also you have to make sure that your color is black or it will not show up right so select with black color uh, a little bit here yeah that's good or maybe here yeah now it's working nice uh, and we can see the effect happening uh, already so you can use same brush in really multiple ways however you like so I'm gonna fast forward and show you how I use the brushes So now as you can see that effect looks way better with splatter around it and that's it this is the final output so i really hope that you learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop